क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एज पर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर अप्लाई कूलम्स लॉ टू रिलेट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स सो गाइज वट वी नीड टू फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स बिटवीन द पेयर्स ओके लेट सी वी हैव अ फॉर्मूला एफ इक्वल के टाइम्स क्यू वन क्यू टू डिवाइड बाय आर स्क्वायर ओके अप्लाई कूलम्स लो दिस इज आवर कूलम्स लो टू रिलेट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स द चार्ज मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द पेयर ऑफ इंट्रैक्टिंग पार्टिकल्स एंड द सेपरेशन बिटवीन द ओके सो गाइज इट्स वेरी इजी जस्ट यू नीड टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला एंड यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ओके जस्ट सी द क्वेश्चन वट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड मीन्स वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक force so what exactly you are looking for you need to find force okay that the two protons protons means we have charge 1 charge 2 proton means positive e positive e which is equals to plus 1.6 multiply 10 raised to power negative 19 coulomb plus 1.6 times 10 raised to power negative 19 Coulomb, okay. Two protons inside the nucleus of a helium atom. Okay, let's say this is your atom. Okay, and this is your nucleus inside the atom. चलो, let's say put it in the center. Fine. Exert on each other. Let's say if they are exerting a force. So first is proton, second is proton. It means they are applying force of repulsion. So you just assume that one proton is here, extreme center P, and one is here. Okay, from the center, if the distance is one, so let's say one. So it is also one. You can say R is equals to two multiply ten raised to power negative fifteen meter. Okay, from where we get this number? See, guys, what we know the size of atom, size of atom is ten raised to power negative ten meter. Size of nucleus. Which is equals to ten raised to power negative fifteen meter. But if we are taking two extremes, then at this is the maximum stretch. Maximum stretch means it is twice of the radius. So R is equals to two multiply ten raised to power minus fifteen meter. So just you need to find the force, put the value, and the value of K you already know. Instead of taking eight point nine nine, you just take nine multiply ten raised to power nine. Okay, guys, Newton. Meter square per coulomb square. So just apply this and find the value of force. F equal to k. K means nine. Multiply ten raised to the power nine bracket. Okay. Charge one. One point six multiply ten raised to the power negative nineteen bracket. Another charge. One point six multiply ten raised to the power negative nineteen. Bracket close divide by we have the value of R two multiply ten raised to the power negative fifteen meter square we have the radius square so guys just sort it out so you will get force is equals to near about fifty eight newton and you need to remember this that if you have two protons inside a nucleus so they are repelling each other with a force of fifty eight newton. clear guys okay so now we will go to the next part of the question as we know what is the formula we have coulomb's law f equals to k times q1 q2 over r square you need to apply the same thing ha huh? you place two charges how many charges two charges a distance r apart okay fine then you double each charge okay in this type of question you need to make a t shape ha huh? Let's say make a T shape. Okay. Now, easy to solve, huh? What is the first case? Case one, case two. Okay, guys. Now just try to understand. We have force F. 
चार्ज वन क्यू चार्ज टू क्यू एंड रेडियस आर वन इज आर ओके फोर्स एफ वन इज एफ फाइन क्यू वन इज क्यू क्यू टू इज क्यू देन यू डबल सी गाइज रिमेंबर अगेन हा यू प्लेस टू चार्जेस आर डिस्टेंस आर ए पार्ट ओके इन फर्स्ट केस देर इज अ डिस्टेंस आर लेट से वी विल ड्रॉ दिस चार्ज क्यू वन चार्ज क्यू टू एंड द डिस्टेंस इज आर ओके फाइन देन यू डबल ईच चार्ज एंड डबल द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द चार्ज सो वट वी आर डूइंग एफ टू वी डोंट नो ओके वी नो charge 1 dash so what will happen we make it 2q okay new charge q2 dash which becomes 2q and the distance r2 becomes 2r see it becomes double easy to understand it becomes double easy to understand and it is also becomes double clear guys okay now what does the force what we need to find the force between the two charges okay guys now f2 which is equals to k okay q1 dash q2 dash over r2 dash whole square solve this and we know what is f1 k times q1 is q q2 is q divided by r square because we need to compare na 1 and 2 okay compare it f2 is equals to k times what is q1 dash 2 times of charge what is q2 dash 2 times of charge divided by what is r2 so r 2 times of r square because it becomes double na okay solve this f2 equals to k times of 2 Q multiply two Q and four R square. So can we cancel this? Two and two four. So what we get F two equals to K times of Q Q over R square. This is equation one. This is equation two. So what we can say from equation one and two. we can say that f1 is equals to f2 they remains same clear guys they remains the same so which option the new force is the same clear okay now go for the next part so what is the next part we have okay now checkpoint 1.4 so guys this is in your book also ha huh? so you can check from your book okay now what we have what do the forces acting on the charge q3 okay what is the major thing q3 and what we need to find force okay again what do the forces acting on charge q3 in the figure indicate about the sign of the three charges okay now guys try to understand we have charge q1 q2 and q3 as we know positive positive repel each other yes or no okay positive negative attract each other okay now just see between x1 and x3 so we have the force name f13 what is the direction this direction so can i say attraction so f13 what i get attraction so what is the meaning of this that both are q1 and q3 opposite charges opposite sign yes or no but we don't know that okay q1 is positive or q3 is positive okay now we are looking for q2 and q3 you see the direction f 2 3 it is also this side it means q2 q3 attraction what it is showing attraction 
if it is attraction they should be opposite sign clear guys okay now there is one thing there is no force between q1 and q2 it means they are repelling each other it means q1 and q2 are of same nature q1 and q2 same sign and q3 is of opposite sign so guys you can say let's say take an example if q1 and q2 equals to positive then q3 is negative or or you can say q1 and q2 negative and q3 is positive clear guys okay let's see the example uh, let's see the answers all three charges must be positive no not possible all three charges must be negative not possible charge q3 must be zero not possible charge q1 and q2 must have opposite sign no not possible why because charge one and charge two are repelling each other okay now the last one charge q1 and q2 must have the same sign okay we know this th same sign i give you the example and q3 must have the opposite sign so your answer is e clear guys okay next question now we have the concept check 1.5 okay now we need to understand assuming the length of the vectors in the figure are proportional to the magnitude of force this is very important magnitude of the force equals to length length of the vector okay so we have the two length one we have f13 we have a smaller length can i say small from here okay and f23 is a bigger length bigger length it means less force and this means more force clear guys okay they represent come to the question they represent what do they indicate about the magnitude of charges q1 and q2 see guys if we have more force means more force f directly proportional to charge more force more charge so we can simply say q2 should be greater than q1 q2 should be greater than q1 okay hint the distance between x and x2 is the same as the distance between x2 and x3 so the distance is same so there is no problem we can simply say okay q1 is less than q2 just try to understand uh, which should be the right answer yes guys try fast 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 easy huh i already told you q2 is greater than so guys uh, in this option we have the two correct answers huh? a and 3 both are same so q2 is greater q2 is greater clear guys and we can easily say that more force more charge okay okay now the next question for you next question is 1.6 three charges are arranged on a straight line so guys uh, there is a confusion that's why i prepared the charges here this is your charge a this is your charge b and this is your charge c okay three charges a b c on a straight line on a straight line they are connected on a straight line fine as shown in the figure what is the direction what is the direction of electrostatic force on the middle charge so guys this is your middle charge second charge is your middle charge so we need to find out the direction so guys easy question this type of questions are in your exams also so middle okay negative positive so from the first you can say there is a force of attraction force of attraction fine 
and positive positive there is a force of repulsion so f b c you can say repulsion so it is moving towards left and f a b you can say attraction so moving left so overall direction is so can we say direction is towards left side fine or towards you can say towards a clear so guys what is the right direction okay a is not right yes b is the right answer down not possible up not possible clear guys okay now the next question just try to understand yes we have the three charges okay we have one negative two q fine okay second we have the q that is the positive charge and third we have the plus q positive charge okay three charges three charges are arranged on a straight line as shown in the figure what is the direction whose direction direction of force on the right charge who is the right charge this is your left charge this is your middle and this is your right clear so we need to find the uh, final direction on the right charge okay note that the left charge is double and uh, what was this concept okay so now we need to think a b c okay a is negative 2q and this is q okay guys now what is the force of direction between them just tell think and tell me there is a force of attraction so can i say f a c is force of attraction clear okay now f b c okay so f b c just solve it from here so this is positive this is positive so there is a force of repulsion so we can say f b c is force of repulsion but guys now what you need to understand it is 2q now force a c just put the values k times 2q and q divide by r square okay uh, note that the left charge is double what it was a concept okay now just try to understand we have a distance also it is 2r but let's say the distance is also if they are at the equal distance 2r okay and f b c k times of q q but the distance is r guys on which part you need to focus let's say this is distance r this is distance r so between a and c r plus r 2r do you understand 2r square and between b and c only r so solve this what you get k 2 q square divided by 4 r square and here you get k q square divided by r square so from these two forces what you can say which is the bigger one can i say force b c is greater than force a c okay so in which direction it will go it will move in this direction or i'll change the color black color so it will move in this direction clear so we can simply say force b c is greater than force a c so guys what should be the right answer tell me tell me tell me yes guys fast i told you yes so it is moving towards right and answer is a moving towards right clear okay 